Throughout history, there were a number of high-profile executions which occurred in public. During the Tudor times, Henry VIII's wives and friends walked a very thin line between the executioner's acts and happiness and prosperity. The Tudor monarch would execute two of his wives and his closest advisers in Sir Thomas More and Sir Thomas Cromwell, after he turned on them. But throughout towns and cities across England at the time, there were many more people who were being executed in front of large crowds. In America this was the case also. Many people were brought to town squares and were horrifically killed. But there was in America a dark history of slavery and of slaves being executed in a number of disturbing ways. Today we look at the teenage American slave who was executed from a tree in Darlington, South Carolina. Amy Spain is remembered today for being the last female slave to have been executed. Join us today as we look at her story, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Amy Spain was born around 1848, and she was a slave who was owned by Major Albertus C. Spain. He was a veteran in the Mexican-American War, and he owned a lot of land around Darlington, South Carolina. He was a prominent member of the local community, and Amy Spain was just a young girl at the time. She worked at Spain's settlement and was given his surname, showing who she belonged to. At that time, the American Civil War was occurring, and she would be executed in the final days of the conflict. Amy would have worked in the rich cotton-growing districts, and at the time, part of the Union Army occupied the town of Darlington where she worked and lived. Amy, when she saw the Union Army coming in, said, Bless the Lord, the Yankees have come. And she could not hold back her emotions. She had been held as a slave for some time, and she believed that as the Union forces entered the town, she would be freed and that her slavery would come to an end. She was most likely overcome with a huge burst of emotion, believing she would get her freedom. At this time in the town, many white residents had left and deserted, and most of the adult men had also left. Because of this, the Union commander then allowed that inside of Darlington, any slaves could take the belongings of the people that had left. This was seen as a wholesome act for the slaves, and they were allowed the possessions of the people who had abandoned, and many of these belongings belonged to white people, many of whom owned slaves themselves. Part of Sherman's cavalry occupied the town, and they passed through, and they treated the women well, and they did not say an unkind word to the slaves either. But the men would have guilty consciences for allowing the slaves to in a sense take the possessions of others. Amy Spain and her brother, because of this order, took some mahogany furniture from one of the homes, and they moved this into an abandoned warehouse. They also took linen, sheets, pillowcases, flour, sugar, lard, and some furniture from the home of their former master. They wanted to get even, and this was too right, as they had been held captive for some years, and it's likely Amy and her brother knew nothing else. But the Union Army then moved from the town, and the residents came back. They found many of their possessions missing, and then Confederate forces, led by General Joseph Wheeler, returned and took up barracks in the town again. The people who remained then turned on Amy Spain, and they said that she was the one who was a ringleader in the looting and stealing of the possessions. They also said that she had told Union soldiers where the valuables inside certain homes were hidden, and she took the Union soldiers to these places where they looted themselves. Amy Spain, the young 17-year-old girl, was then arrested, and she was quickly sentenced to death. She had been charged and found guilty of treason and conduct unbecoming a slave by a Confederate military tribunal. She even acted in her own defence, and it was said that Amy Spain heroically heard her death sentence, and from her prison bars declared she was prepared to die. She defied her prosecutors, and she amended the scaffold and declared she was going to a place where she would receive a crown of glory. She was rudely interrupted by an oath from one of her executioners. To the eternal disgrace of Darlington, her execution was acquiesced in and witnessed by most of the civilians in her town. She was to be hanged on a sycamore tree inside the town square. A rope was wrapped around the tree and then the block Amy was stood on was kicked out from underneath her and the rope tightened around her. Amy Spain was just 17 when she was killed. A newspaper reported her execution and said that her name is now hallowed amongst Africans and her story was printed in many newspapers. In these publications, many of the residents of the town 
were blamed and were considered racist who persecuted her, and they were angry because of some of the menial possessions they lost. Major Spain, her master, was interviewed and he said, Amy's temper was hot, hasty and ungovernable, yet to me, as her master, she was always dutiful, up to the unfortunate time, when she exhibited traits of character, adopted a line of conduct, used expressions and committed acts, which contributed to the violent termination of her existence at the early age of 17. His words were chilling, as the violent termination he referred to was the brutal execution of a young girl, who had been given permission to loot from Union soldiers, who treated her well, and who would have freed her from slavery. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.